Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the Mass Drop uh, Laconico Keen. Uh, I got this knife about maybe two or three years ago when they first came out with this, and this is by far one of the most awesome uh, Mass Drop collaborating knives that I've ever handled. Uh, but just a disclaimer, I've only handled this knife, so I probably don't know what I'm talking about. But I love this knife. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Ray Laconico's, like, you know, knife designs. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. Uh, it just really harkens back to, you know, that simple just works, you know. And then you, you, you um, match that with just a quality that, you know, Ray Laconico is known for. And you have an amazing knife. Um, right off the bat, you'll notice that I've done a, a few things. Uh, the first thing that I've done is I've taken off that pocket clip just to give it more of that traditional feel. Um, I forgot what what the name of the style of this knife is, but I, I feel like it harkens back to kind of like a more traditional, you know, um, knife design, but with, you know, of course, the 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 titanium handles and that really beautiful like spear point uh, blade shape. But yeah, I just took off that, that clip and it feels really good in the hand. Um, you could, you know, the, the uh, titanium uh, scales are actually slightly contoured. So it just feels really good in the hand. Another thing that I've done with this knife is I took out that backspacer. So I'm going to bring it into the frame. Actually, so here's a pocket clip, right? And so... I just went ahead and took that out, and then I took out this um, this backspacer. I believe this is also titanium, and so it used to be in there, and then the two screws would go in through the two holes, and then you got like that lanyard hold. But you know, actually, this was um, I I did this accidentally. You know, I was t I was taking the knife apart, and I just forgot to put the the backspacer in, and. I realized, man, I actually love it without the backspacer. You know, it kind of uh, makes the knife a little bit louder. It makes uh, a lighter. It makes it a little bit less butt heavy because uh, with the backspacer, that titan titanium backspacer, it does kind of make this nice knife a little bit butt heavy. But without that backspacer, it actually makes it a little bit more well balanced in the hand. Um, this is That's kind of where like the balance point is. But yeah, I just... I love it without the backspacer and at first I was like, you know, does it look a little bit like something's missing? But the more I carry it, the more I use it, I, I realized, you know, I actually really like it. And, you know, I'm just thinking, man, if that was like a pillar, you know, uh, screw, I think it'd be it'd look even more sweeter. But yeah, those are like really the two things that I did with this knife and I think it just makes for a better knife overall. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, like I mentioned, I carry this knife. I've had this knife for about like two years now. And this is a, a, a fantastic knife. Uh, when I got it on Mass Drop, well now it's known as Drop. I think I got it for like $150. And I don't know if the price has changed, but I do still see them available. And so if you are interested in getting this knife, like I highly recommend it. Um, everything about this knife is just really awesome. Um, just the way it fits in the hand, the way it feels in the hand, the way it actually cuts. You know, you can see that this uh, blade is um, a full uh, flat ground blade as S35VN. And I don't know how, how they heat treated this, this blade, but man, it cuts so well. Like it's just, it's just right now it's like sticky sharp. You know, because I did, uh, you know, sharpen it up on the Spyderco Sharp Maker. But man, this thing cuts so well. Um, I want to, and, and another amazing thing about this knife is that it flips really well. You know, I, you know, you can see that it is centered and it just has a really nice dialed in detent and it just snaps out like with authority. And, and when it goes back in, it just, that detent just kind of sucks it, you know, it just sucks it in. It's just super nice. Uh, this is riding on, I believe, ceramic uh, ball bearings, so it is incredibly smooth. Uh, but I do want to bring some other flipper uh, knives that I have uh, that and I just want to use as a comparison. So I have the Spyderco Smock. It is one of my favorite Spyderco's of all time. 
is I love that button compression lock. It is a very fun knife to play with. Um, and so you can see that the keen is a little bit, uh, it's actually about the same size in, in real life, but it looks, you know, right here, it looks a little bit different just because of the angle, but it's about the same size. Uh, the second knife I want to bring into the picture that I really love. This is a fantastic, fantastic knife is a ZT 0308. And, uh, you could tell, uh, that it is a little bit smaller than the ZT 0308. This knife is amazing. I've had this knife for a few weeks now, and at first the detent was super stiff, but now that it's broken in super nice, and it's just super, like, just amazing to flip. It actually has a really amazing sound. I love the sound. Uh, I know it, you can't really hear it, you know, properly in this video, but it just has this nice click, and the detent is tuned just right. So uh, that's the ZT0308. Next knife I want to bring into is a, a classic. This is a ZT0562 tie. And again, uh, if you line that up, it's about the same size. The ZT0562 tie is a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, this is also another amazing flipper by ZT. And then the last knife I want to bring into the picture is, of course, the legendary uh, Hinder uh, XM18. This is a 3-inch with the Warncliffe blade. I've had this knife for you know, maybe a year or two, and this is with that triway pivot. Currently, I have this configured with the, I believe it's the Phosphor Bronze Washers. But I think uh, I've tried it with all three. I've tried it with the the uh, the bearing, and with the Teflon, and then now with the Foster Bronze. But I think my favorite overall is with the bearing, uh, the ball bearing. Uh, yeah, but I mean, this is a fantastic knife. You know, everyone knows about the XM18. It's a it's a legend. But if you uh, just want to stack it up, you can see that it is. You know, the Keen is a little bit you know bigger than the XM18 three inch. But yeah, overall, just I just this is a really amazing knife. You know, for about a hundred fifty dollars, I mean, this is such a good value, and it just flips really well. I do get the uh, the bronze, uh, like that stone wash finish. I know they have, I believe, like the regular, the plain titanium. I think they have the blue as well, and but yeah, I opted for the bronze, and it's more of like a. It's like a yellowish bronze, and it does have this really aggressive, like, stone wash uh, finish on it. Uh, I really like it because when the sun, the light hits it just right, it kind of, like, shimmers like gold flakes. And, yeah, it just, it just is beautiful. Um, I have taken this knife apart a few times. It's super easy to take apart and maintain and put back together. Uh, and, you know, actually, even before I took out that ba backspacer, I thought I would need that backspacer because you know i figured it would help with you know making sure the knife goes in you know it's put together correctly and that everything's aligned but as you can see i do not have the backspacer and the knife works just fine you know i personally like it this way a little bit more than just having that titanium backspacer but yeah this is an amazing flipper i i just love it um I think we knives uh, manufactured this knife, and I know we knives, man. You just can't go wrong with that company, man. They're just, they're just, they're on it, you know. They're just um, constantly just churning out just some amazing knives that have just, just really just awesome like action and quality and and just yeah, all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you're looking to buy the the Laconico Keen through uh, Drop. Uh, formerly known as Mass Drop, then I would highly recommend it. Um, there's just, I mean, they did a really good job with it. And from what I've read in the forums and in the conversations with other Knife Nuts, this was like one of their best collaborations. Um, I know they they produce a lot of knives with, with different knife makers and companies. But yeah, I just keep hearing consistently that this is one of the very best collaborations that Ma Ma Mass Drop did um throughout their history <laughs> so yeah i highly recommend it um it does have that old mass drop logo on the blade i think now they've moved over to like i think it's now drop and they they include that logo in the pivot i believe but you know i don't i don't mind that labeling you know to me it's just a knife is a knife you know 
and if they choose to to mark it up on the blade then you know whatever's i'm cool with it i do love this uh ray laconico that that signature kind of that ray laconico stamp on the spine of the blade super sweet um yeah just a, a really solid knife i love the lines of this knife I love how it's just very streamlined. It has a really gentle kind of curve. Um, and that spear point, man. What can you say about spear point shapes? They're just great for, for piercing. Uh, it's great for utility, for cutting, for slicing. It's just overall, I think spear point blades are just one of the most versatile uh, blade shapes out there. You know, uh, But I do love myself some uh, Warren Cliff blades for sure. You know, this is, man, one of my favorites, too. Just fits in the hand super well. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking to, to snag one of these, man, go for it. I think you will not be disappointed. It's a fantastic knife. All right, you guys, have a good one.